YouTube, what's going on? Horse Racing Gamer here. Welcome back to uh, Rival Stars on the desktop. If you're new, make sure to subscribe. Play a lot of horse racing content on this channel. So this will be the last um, test that I'm doing for videos. And then after this, uh, Gallup Racers 2003 will be back to close out that season. And then we'll cop back into 2004. Um, I am going to continue to increase... Uh, games like Rival Stars, uh, Pocket Stables, I'm not sure. That is something I kind of want to get back into. It's actually one of my best performing playlists on the channel. And I don't realize people really liked watching me play Pocket Stables. In fact, it, it seems like some of the best performing playlists and videos on my channel are games that I just don't even enjoy that much compared to the others. I like them all, but Pocket Stables, um, Starter's Orders, those are all games that... Um, you know that do really well for my channel with the videos and we're gonna go ahead and look at some breeding here but those games pocket stables starters orders they do very well they're some of the best videos and playlists for my channel and I'm just like I'm just not as into those games um, pocket stables is actually fun when I'm in the mood starters orders I, I like the simulation aspect of it but I'm not up to date with the mana managerial aspects anyways we have six horses now because great bolero and golden monster I've essentially had to use uh, to get the money to create even better horses I'm not entirely sure if we're going to continue to use them uh, excuse me great bolero and golden monster um, golden monster I, I definitely um, just kind of used her to accumulate as much income as possible so I think using her would not really be fair and kind of a similar situation with great bolero in fact I had to use great bolero to make enough money to uh, for us to acquire golden monster so as far as great monster which is their offspring we're definitely going to get him um, rolling here a uh, Welsh time glue factor of course these are horses we're going to see I think we said do we see Welsh time in action I can't, I can't remember I don't think so I don't know if we've watched Welsh time we definitely watched glue factor and we watched uh, their offspring time to glue so I think we owe Welsh time a little bit of time here today I am thinking about breeding I'm not sure if I have enough so we may have to try to win a race or two this is just going to be another just kind of um easy going uh, just testing some things out video but after this episode uh, I have decided I will officially make um, you know some sort of standings and rankings we can uh, kind of keep in this series as far as the AI is concerned comparing uh, competing against us uh, to make this a little bit more immersive and that'll start in the next episode so with Welsh time she's a great 10 mare now she better than we are going to do breeding but I definitely need to do a race and get us some money so she's 114 112 112 um, time to glue is oh, I forgot time to glue is he's a hmm. he's a great 10 he's only he's at level 20 am I missing something here Walsh time is only at level 15 but her stats are oh she's at level 15 for stats that would make sense and time to glue is probably like at what level 6 okay that makes a lot of sense I'm going to be like what what is the difference so because Walsh time seems to be better uh, currently even though glue factor might be better than her no he's about the same too so we'll go ahead and i'll uh, do a race with welsh time see if we can get some money and then we will get ready to um to do some breeding here before this episode closes out so i'm not sure what type of race is really going to work for welsh uh 15s she'll have to go like the last stage of like 11s and up because um her level is only 15, which means she'll get swamped by horses at level 16. So we're looking for Welsh time. There she is. And uh, she is the heavy favorite here. Uh, I want to see if I can actually apply some skills for maybe some extra money. We have quite a bit of skills. I haven't really used any of them because I'm saving a lot of them for the preseason or for our regular season. Nothing about earnings, though. It's just all about the racing stuff, which, like I said, I will probably save. Even though it feels kind of weird to use skills for races. But then again, we use them in the regular uh, Rival Stars mobile for those of us that play. I guess it's not that big of a deal. Uh, we're betting the win here. Uh, there's no reason why she shouldn't win. Heavy favorite. Number one jockey on board. Uh, this should be a good win for Welsh time. We're going to go ahead and watch this race, and then hopefully uh, we'll see what we can do. We'll see. I'm excited uh, to get the season mode started because, like I said, I really do enjoy Rival Stars. I know it's not as popular amongst some of you on my channel, but it really is an enjoyable game from the creation aspect. Um, it's the most immersive as far as that's concerned, even more than, you know, any of the God Racer series. But, of course, um, you know, the authenticity of certain things and the realism is not exactly there 
um, in Rival Stars compared to other games. The game aesthetically is, looks amazing. Like I said, imagine if we could get a remake of a Gal Racer with these graphics and aesthetics. It, it would be probably one of my favorite things of any video game I've ever played. I promise you. It would feel so realistic, so amazing. It just It's really surprising that more game companies or developers haven't tried to make remake a Gallup Racer just with newer engines and the aesthetics and the graphics that we see with uh, Rival Stars. I mean, look how amazing that looks. Imagine that with Gallup Racer game mechanics. I just, uh, I, I, I'm telling you, one day if I'm in a financial position to make it happen, or maybe I should start a, um, you know, some sort of project uh, in order for us to raise money for a group of developers that maybe one of us knows or something. And I've been contacted about some developers are working on games and some of them do look very good. And as we come down to the wire here, Welsh time, she's struggling. She's struggling. Is she going to get up there in time? It's going to be a close. I don't know if she got up there in time. Forgot that race was a lot quicker and I bet so much money on her to win. It doesn't low. Oh, come on, Welsh. No, she's not going to get there. Wow. That is, oh, come on, man. So Welsh time, she struggles a little bit in the closing moments of the race. She rallied, but she did not rally enough. And that's that's a disappointing second place victory. Yeah, we still got 48 gold. We lost a little bit of our wager, obviously. That's disappointing. I thought we were the heavy favorite. What on earth happened? What on earth happened? And that 48,000 is not really going to cut it for breeding, but we may go ahead and do something a little bit lower. Not really a point to breed for any horse that's lower than like a, a grade 10. But, ah, man, Welsh. My girl, that is, I mean, it's a big second place finish, but at the same time, still, you are the heavy favorite. Based off of that, I am going to give her a skill, just so we can try to, I mean, I, I doubt I'll probably use her in the regular season. I plan on using the uh, the new foals um, that we're going to be breeding. Um, perfect starts, back position. She's not even a back position horse, is she? She shouldn't be. I think she's front. Yeah, she's front, so... As far as skills are concerned, uh, we'll go ahead and equip, equip her with perfect starter because that's probably about the only, well, you know, there's nothing for front. So we'll equip her with perfect starter. Hopefully the AI can get perfect starts and maybe she can establish a lead and not have to race from behind after a certain point. She looked good up until the stretch. I'm sitting there talking about uh, just, you know, if I could, you know, uh, create a page or something. Um, you know, a Kickstarter or, or whatever. Uh, I, obviously, after doing research, of I would say several of us could maybe do research and find the best suitable company or whomever. Uh, of course, I don't have the skills. Like I said, I've had a couple of people contact me as far as their games and my feedback. But in terms of making a Gallup Racer version of Rival Stars, that would require quite a lot of funds. And I think that would obviously have to you know, really be in the right hands in order for that to go through. But that would be amazing. We're going to run Welsh time again. And we're going to see if she's able to bounce. Again, another heavy favorite. And because I'm skeptical now, watch, I, I place a top two safe bet on her, and then she ends up winning by, like, ten lengths. Watch that's how that's going to work. After this race, we'll get to breeding. But, um, yeah, I just I, I would love to see a newer version of Galbraith's remake with Rival Stars because we would get the aesthetics of Rival Stars, the presentation of Rival Stars, which I like a lot, with the realism, air quotes, because horse games can only be so real, but with the realism of Gallup Racer when it comes to a regular calendar, um, different titles, championships, records, all of that stuff, that would be amazing. And it just it, it's really surprising to me that since Gallup Racer has been out for over a decade, there has I don't know if there's been any efforts to, to do that. Obviously, Rival Stars is uh, very new as far as a horse racing game is concerned. The newest as far as the biggest platform of a game. Um, decent start here for Welsh time. But point being, I'm just surprised that there hasn't been a Gallup Racer, a similar title that's been made. You know what I mean? In the years since its last release, um, you would just think now, like I said, with the technology, uh, with, you know, people and um, companies or communities being able to start, you know, Kickstarters to raise, um, you know, money and donations for whatever they're trying to develop. It, it's really surprising to me that it has not happened in the form of like a new Gallup racer. And I just don't know if there's just not a, enough popular demand for it. If people have just kind of gave up on the Gallup racer series, I know it's probably much bigger in Japan than it is here in the States and most of the, uh, the you know, the rest of the world. But it just it's still hard to believe that there hasn't been any more additional um, additional movements or, you know, anything as far as trying to create a Gallup racer that looks like this. 
So with all that being said, if anybody has any ideas on that, I mean, I'm telling you, future reference, I would totally be on board uh, with that. Of course, everybody's financial situations are different, but just, you know, if we could figure out the right steps to, to, to maybe get the process going, if it hasn't, maybe it hasn't actually been brought up and nobody's really thought about it. Whatever the case, I would 100% be in support of that because it's if there is a game I wish I could have, that's probably it. On the list of all the different video games I play in different video gaming categories, a Gallup Racer that looks like this, you know, essentially a modern day 2022, 2023, 2024 even, Gallup Racer. I think 2024 would be a bit long. I think you could get it done definitely by 2023. I would 100% be on board for making that happen. Uh, you guys let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. We got 400 meters left to go, and Welsh time again. She's sit I know she her her running pace is front. I don't understand why she's not near the front. I know this is a tough class of horses, but she is not looking good. The perfect start skills kind of wasted, but here she comes. She has a, I mean, she's not going to be able to close 12, 12 lengths in 100 meters. And she, she's completely, these horses are tiring. They're tiring. She's going to get up there for second place, but that's not good enough. And again, another slightly disappointing performance from Welsh time. What, what is the solution to her? Really, what is the solution? She grows a level, great, but that is two races she was the heavy favorite. Still did not win. Uh, yeah, like I said, that, that's pretty disappointing to say the least. She is winning money, though. That's a good thing. But like I said, that's another disappointing effort, in my opinion. Uh, maybe I'll have to drop her. I'm keeping, well, I was only keeping her in that race because I figured it was the highest earning one. But maybe we can drop her in this. Uh, this is a 16 as well. Yeah, we can't really put her in a race where she's going to win a whole lot. Um, I could, with the money I have, training-wise, could we get her up to level 16 and make her more competitive at that higher level? So we're looking for Welsh time. 8,500, that's not terrible, but we can only raise her up really one more level. Now, since she is finally level 16, we might be able to enter her in one more of the lower class races. Because I'm trying to decide who I'm going to breed before this episode closes out. Uh, let's go back to stables here. Um, Great Bolero would be interesting to have another one. I would like another horse that looks similar to him. Uh, the only one that we have is obviously Great Bolero and Golden Monster to uh, create Great Monster. Welsh Time and Glue Factor have created Time to Glue. I would like another foal from Great Bolero and Golden Monster. So maybe we'll we'll just have, we'll try from them again, actually. Now that's probably exactly what we're going to do. So we're going to make Great Bolero the stud. And we'll see what they can produce. Only issue is, obviously, with Great Bolero being a grade 6, and I wanted him to be my first horse in this game, so I sacrificed the fact that he was never going to get to grade 10, so I made him a grade 6 horse. But, um, at the same time, maybe maybe I try something different, actually, because I really do only want grade 10 horses. Great Monster, we are going to give a shot, but I, I guess I really don't want to experiment with any horses below grade 10. It just kind of seems like a waste of resources, but at the same time, maybe not. Maybe we can divide different classes and tiers for those horses, but ultimately, like in Gallup Racer, even if you get a horse that's ranked E, you still want to try to improve that horse as high as you can, and if the horse gets up to an A or an S, then you're going to start racing that horse, not just in opens and group threes or grade threes, but you'll start racing that horse in grade twos and even grade ones ultimately that's your goal in gallop racer most of the games is to get um your horses up to a level where they can win big grade one races so i should i think i should adopt the same mindset here which is why i probably realistically now i'm thinking about it i shouldn't breed great bolero with golden monster because we're not going to get a grade 10 horse out of that great monster uh from both of them from golden monster and great bolero he is going to be the only exception he is a he isn't he Yes, he is going to be the only exception. Every other horse that we breed from this time on should be a grade 10. So actually, we're going to do something different. We're going to do Glue Factor. And... No, we're going to do Great Bolero and Welsh Time. Actually, we'll breed those two. Or not Great Bolero. I keep saying Great Bolero. We're going to do Golden Monster and Glue Factor. We're going to breed those two and see what we can create. But, um... Let's let's try to get one more uh, race here with Welsh Time. Now she's a, a, a grade 16. Let's see if that makes a difference and. If she can actually get a win here. We're trying. She seems to be struggling. So let's try this one. I hope she should be pretty. She should be. Ah, not great odds. And watch. She would perform better. But I kind of want to go ahead and look at. um. Not what I wanted to do. I wanted to look at the other horses in the field. And see how they're looking. Okay, they are a little bit better. So I guess she's just at the brink here. Try this. Well, what's the distance? 
this race, the 2600 race, should be ideal for her, I thought. Ah, uh, 1600, so she's a sprinter. Maybe we're... I swear that first race was really short, and she's still kind of uh, underperformed. Let's try this race. This is actually is much better, and I think she should have a good going. Still, not heavily favored. Medium track surface. The distance isn't too far off. I mean, what are these other horses doing statistically that she isn't? Okay, so that one's a little bit better. Okay, so she's still kind of on the lower end of things. That's that's disappointing. Um, mm, 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 let's see here. Is this going to be the same deal with this race? Probably. Oh, she's better here. Some of these races are really interesting how they kind of pick this stuff out, but still these horses are much better. So I guess we're going to have to sacrifice her for like a, or, you know, send her to a, maybe try this one at, is this a Kildare? Um, yeah, she should be, let's look at the other horses just to make sure. Oh, wow. Yeah, she should blow this one out of the water. What can we bet? We, I want to make sure it's going to be worth it. Um, if we can wager. Odds, uh, what's the max? 6K? That's not terrible. So we'll win 30K. Well, we'll see. After this, we'll go ahead and do some breeding. So let's see. All right, here we go. We are at a Kildare. All right, so whilst well, time, I would think in Realistic terms, she has dropped in class. I certainly hope she'll prove that. Big field of 17, and we're off and running in Welsh time here. Where is she? Oh, there she is. I really couldn't see her. I guess she was a little bit further off the camera, but a pretty decent start for her. And, uh, again, every time I watch, you know, this uh, you know the game like this, I just can't help but think, imagine a Gallup racer. Imagine, man. Imagine a Gallup racer with all the different and don't get me wrong; these courses in this game are all are awesome and beautiful in their own right. But some of those iconic uh, courses in Gallup Racer, um, you know what I mean, uh, remade essentially with today's, like I said, modern, um, you know, uh, graphics and technology would be it, it just would be amazing. So Welsh Time seems to be a horse that can run easily against lower competition, but if you put if you turn her up a notch. She doesn't seem to perform as well, so that's a little bit concerning for um, her offspring time to glue, which he, I, I think he won his maiden, so he didn't do too bad. Um, but long term, I guess as he gets better in competition, will he suffer the same, the same characteristic? I mean, she looks great here. I, I just kind of wish she would have done that in those other two races beforehand. She looks great. She's out in front by several lengths. 500 meters approaching left to go. Welsh time literally on cruise control uh just looks like she's just out here on a training exercise again i would have liked to have seen that in those other two races especially since she was still heavily favored she was heavily favored in those two races with a little bit tougher competition she's heavily favored here again today but she drops in class it just doesn't feel like as impressive as a win you know what i mean because she should be able to run against those other two um classes that we ran against and she didn't perform but nonetheless a win is a win she wins by almost three seconds, over two and a half. And uh, we get about 60K out of it. So not bad. Not bad. With that being said, we should be able to breed. Hopefully it doesn't cost too much. And she is upgraded to level 17. Continuing to collect our payments here. And we're going to go ahead and uh, do some breeding. So we're going to breed Welsh Time, I believe. Or no, Golden Monster with Glue Factor. Welsh Time... She's actually okay. So Glue Factor, we're going to make you the stud. You're going to be breeding with Golden Monster. And we're going to see what type of foal you guys could create. So he's an 1,800 meter firm front horse. Golden Monster is a 1,400 meter firm front. So based off of that, we should get a horse that probably has track surface front, position front. Uh, but we'll see. Let's go ahead and go over to the foal stalls and make it happen. 
Can we upgrade? I was going to say, we're already at the max to upgrade. So we have Golden Monster on the left, and we need Welsh, or excuse me, Glue Factor on the right. And there he is. It's going to cost 578k. All right, you see the stats there, the level one stats for Golden Monster on the left. She's 65 across the board with speed, sprint energy, and acceleration. You look on the right, Glue Factor actually has one point higher in speed at 66, and then his sprint energy and acceleration are both equal at 65. Uh, the distance, they're pretty much going to be the same, 1,400 meters to 1,800 meters, so we can expect a horse in that range. Track surface, both the same, which is firm. Track position, also front. So we should get a good fall out of this. I would like a, a mare, which will technically be a filly and then a mare. I, I would like that a lot. So Glue Factor and Golden Monster. Now, unfortunately, um, I probably have to do a cut edit to um, get, because I don't have enough money to get this uh, to get this fall. But we could go ahead and uh, put Great Bolero in a race. And I'm sure he'll be able to actually win us enough money so we can make that uh, process go by faster in this video so um, he's a grade 6 but was he maxed out at 30? I think he's maxed out at 30. I genuinely can't even remember I'm pretty sure he is I don't know how high he can really run, we'll see yeah he's um yeah, he's maxed at a, at a 30 but I don't think he can, let's see what these horses are at, 138, 141 oh he's not too far off so we could still run him in a pretty big race with a potentially big payout 31s, he's not going to be able to jump. Can Golden Monster race? I forgot this isn't like, okay, yeah, the folding is still there. I'm going to say I'm pretty sure they can't run when they're falling. So um, let's go ahead and try this one for Great Bolero, I hope. No, it's still not the favorite. Wow, we have to really kind of find a diamond in the rough here. Let's maybe try, I just saw a 99K. There it is. This one should be a little bit easier at El Trueno for Great Bolero. Uh, let's go ahead and look at the, the other horse. And yeah, Great Bolero should be able to handle this. I'm going for broke. I am putting all the money on the win for my boy. Uh, I don't know what skill he has. What skill is that? Okay, uh, charge three sprints during the last 200. That's fantastic because I forgot I was uh, playing the game when I had him. Jackie Fee's kind of high. Do I want to be cheap and save, or do I want to go with the best jockey and just hope that we, uh, we win out? I'm going to go with the best jockey. We'll pay a hefty price, but if we win, we're... We're cashing out even bigger. So we're going to go ahead and watch this race unfold. And hopefully one or two of these will get us enough money to go ahead and skip the folding for uh, the new fold that's on the way. Let's see here, though. I could have just simulated this race, too, I guess. Well, this is the last one we'll watch. After this, then we'll simulate races if we don't have enough. Because uh, it's been a while since we've seen Great Bolero in action. I know he's actually kind of become a favorite amongst several um, people on the channel who... Like me initially, you know, I, I thought his name was great and I thought he would be a solid horse. I thought he'd be a strong horse, but he turned out way better than I thought. So he's really, like I said, he's definitely my favorite horse that I've created in any Gallup Racer series for sure. And um, yeah, great Bolero. He's just, well, what a horse. If you haven't watched the uh, Gallup Racer 2004 series with him and, you know, what we were able to do. And like I said, none of us were really expecting him to be that great of a horse. And as he got older, he got much better. So. Um, special horse, definitely for sure. He's looking good right now. 1,200 meters to go. He is out in front. And uh, like I said, we need this win. I'm, I'm sure we'll probably jump up to like s between five and 600K. I'd be surprised if we got up to 700. That'd be great. But I think we need a little bit more than that. But again, other races, we'll just go ahead and simulate from this point on. We're Great Bolero looking strong. 850 meters left to go. Another horse on cruise control here. Just love the look of Great Bolero. He really looks like just just a special special horse, man. He really really does. So he's out in front, clear by about half a dozen lengths, and I'm not sure who else is behind him, but this should be an easy win for Great Bolero. He really hasn't disappointed me too much. I, I can say that for the Gallup Racer series, watching his races in here, he is really a strong, solid horse, and he hasn't really disappointed. So. I have a lot of confidence in him when we put him in races. He's just that type of a horse. And um, here we go. The last 200 meters. They're going to try to rally, but it's going to be too little, too late. Great Bolero's got the uh, the skill as well. And he was going to clear that anyway. So that's just another easy win for Great Bolero. 99K for the first place. Let's see. 99 gold, 134 gold. So that's, what, about 200K? So, yeah, 220K roughly. 
but it doesn't seem like that much. So with that being said, we're just going to go ahead and simulate a couple of races because, uh, like I said, I want to get that full before this episode is over. And uh, you guys have seen Great Bolero run, so we're probably just going to... Uh, what else could he do? I'm just trying to see bigger races that he could participate in. Like, it's 248k. Even if he's not... Fa Ugh, that's the only problem, though. He's nowhere even near the top. It would kind of be a waste. Maybe this one. He's a favorite. What about this one at 184k? No, he's not. Okay, we'll, we'll go back to this one. Again, we're going to continue to bet. Uh, we'll pay for the highest jockey. Actually, we'll do a top two. Just because the odds look pretty close. I don't see him not coming in the top two. We'll do that. Um, I don't really simulate often, but uh, hopefully this works out. I, I hope I'm not spending 20 minutes trying to get a million dollars in this game. Great Bolero doesn't want to. And he comes in fourth. Of course. Of course he comes in fourth. Great Bolero, bro. This is not part of the plan. We're going to run this again. But this time he's not even, not even with a chance. Yeah, once I see that, I'm like, okay, I don't want to put him in the race. But we need this money. Otherwise, we'll be grinding here all day. Another close race. It uh, almost makes me... <sighs> I'm a bit of top three here. And if he still doesn't come into top three, then I'm just going to have to drop him even further in class. And that's going to be extremely annoying and disappointing. Because he's a great horse and he should be able to win. But the AI are hit or miss. But I like the randomness of that. And he does win this one, of course, when I place a top three bet. Nonetheless, though, it's still 100 grand. We need that money, so we do that a couple more times. We will be at a milli. I wish I could raise Golden Monster. That would definitely push us along much faster. But, um, but again, with Golden Monster, uh, we can't. So, um, we could try this race. I mean, he's not looking too hot, but we could try it. Um, I don't, I don't know if I'll see anything else that's better. Oh, maybe this 113. Uh, okay, we'll try this 113. Same deal. I'm going to bet a top three. You know, seems like you only win the win bets when you are heavily favored. I mean heavily. I mean like, you know, you are five classes above the horses you're racing with. That's pretty much the only time I feel like the win bets are guaranteed or your horse is extremely stacked from just multiple lines of breeding. But that's not our case, so I don't think we can do that. And if fifth play... I mean, I know that race was, was playing it close, but goodness gracious, fifth place, and we're down in money again. Well, this is certainly not how I wanted this to go. I guess I probably should just, um, I should probably just um, end this part of the video here and then come back once we've acquired enough. But actually, maybe we'll be able to sell enough of um, these items here to, um, I'm trying to move down. This game is still weird sometimes with the controls. Who, what do you watch? We can make enough that we need just by selling all these excess items that we have. Actually, it looks like we are going to be able to do that. Why I didn't think of that in the first place, I, I don't really know. Um, but I think doing the couple of races we did 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 help us out. But you know, and and we will always get tools back. I'm never worried. Some people are like, oh, don't get rid of your tools. I mean, you'll always eventually get them back, if, especially if you're performing well. So I, I don't really worry. Don't know why I didn't think of this in the first place. Now, the golds I'm not going to do. Get rid Well, actually, we do have some excess in gold. I'll get rid of a couple because it's easy money. Easy money, and we're going to be at a milli. And why I didn't do this five minutes ago, I don't know. But like I said, it was fun to still watch some of the races anyways. But we got enough money. We're here. Um, now, I know we will probably need more for a trainer, but but we'll cover that when we get there. All right, here we go. Foaling. Oh, and the price went down because the time went down. That's even better. Wow, I'm just figuring stuff out left and right. Anyways, Golden Monster and Glue Factors Foal is here, and it looks like that is a Philly? No, it's a Colt. It's another Colt with even better sprint energy than his brother. Well, his half-brother, Time to Glue. All right, we'll do care for Foal here. So we have Golden Monster and uh, Glue Factor. Golden Factor. I mean, it's as simple as that, people. Golden Factor. Golden Factor. It, it really doesn't get any more simple than that. Golden Factor, welcome to the club. Welcome to the fam. And uh, we'll go ahead and feed here. Actually, watch the animation because I've been skipping it. Beautiful Colt, man. Beautiful Colt. I cannot wait to see when he is uh, full grown as, as a stallion and 
uh, the customization we're going to do, which I will save uh, for the next episode so we have something to look forward to. What an absolutely beautiful cult, man. Now, can we feed him again? No, we have to wait. Um, we could hire a caretaker, but again, we don't have <laughs> we don't have the money to hire any of them. So, um, you know, as far as the stat bonus, we're going to have to be more mindful of this. And uh, yeah, but what a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful cult that he is. And uh, like I said, he is a little bit lighter than his brother, half brother time to glue. And I think, there we go. There, beautiful cult. Beautiful. It's been a while since I've actually really gotten a horse like that. So, Golden Factor, I'm looking forward to seeing uh, what he's going to be able to do. Obviously, if we don't have enough money to hire a caretaker, he may not be as great as he could be, but I'm still excited for the simple fact that uh, he's going to inherit some traits from uh, his mother, Golden Monster. The good traits and not the bad ones from the Gallup Racer 2004 series where if she lost a head-to-head -head battle, she was out of the race. Anyways, guys, this is going to do it for today's episode. Hopefully you all enjoyed. Make sure to smash that like button and subscribe if you are new for weekly horse racing content. Like I said, this is the last testing video of this series, and uh, we'll be back to Gallup Racer 2003 within a week. Same thing as 2004, and I will be starting this season mode uh, for Rival Stars here uh, within that same time period. A lot of horse racing content coming your way. Appreciate you guys' support. Until next time, Horse Racing Gamers, signing out. I'll be all have a great and fantastic day. See ya, and goodbye.